All right, many beaches are shut down this holiday weekend as new cases increase in nearly 40 states. That includes Galveston, Texas, where this year officials hope people will stay home to stay safe. Janet Shamlian has our report. The 4th of July weekend for most of the country won't be a day at the beach. It is what it is. I guess we got to be safe. The Rokas have been planning this trip to Galveston since January. We're trying to make the best of it. It's a little disappointing. From coast to coast, beach towns are scrambling to stop scenes like these from Memorial Day weekend, when people packed pools, water parks, and beaches, many without masks. But Galveston on the Texas Gulf Coast has more cases per capita than Dallas or Austin. We're seeing a surge in young people who are really just not paying any regard to the risk of this. California's Newport Beach closed after two lifeguards tested positive for COVID-19. Now nearly two dozen other lifeguards are in quarantine. It's difficult for us uh, throughout this time. The beach is kind of where I've gone to to make myself feel better. Florida is drawing a line in the sand. Many Atlantic Coast beaches are closed. But along the state's panhandle, Panama Beach is open, even almost doubling the number of lifeguards on duty. <coughs> to the north in New York City, all 14 miles of beach reopened this week. We're heading in the right direction right now. It ain't over yet. But back in Galveston, the owner of this popular beachside spot worries where tourists will go. And there's going to be an inability for them to uh, enjoy themselves on the beach. And uh, that's going to lead to an inability for them to socially distance themselves. And it could be more of a hindrance uh, than a solution. Galveston Island and so many beach towns rely on this holiday weekend for their livelihood. But this year, health is the priority. And as you can see, as of this morning, the signs are up, the beach is closed. But will this gamble pay off? Closing the beaches on a steamy July weekend. Officials say it will be several weeks before they know whether cases drop. Gail? Oh, Janet, Bob Spadaro chilling in his beach chair had it best. It ain't over yet. We need to remember that. Thank you very much.